This is CNBC.com News Now. All right, up next, comparing the tech bubble burst to the current market and why this might be the start of a rather firm bottom. <laughs> we have the results of a new study. All right, the question on every investor's mind, maybe have we hit a bottom, but our next guest, Ashley, says that's not the most relevant question you should be asking. Perhaps the better one is, have we reached a point where investors are likely to obtain positive returns in the intermediate future? It's a little wordier, but that's the question. <laughs> He's formulated his own index to help distill an answer. That's our next guest, Rafael Resendez, co-founder of the Applied Finance Group, introducing the Resendez Index. Rafael, first of all, how do you define intermediate? Uh, intermediate, we'd be looking at over the next three years where we can okay. kind of let these companies play out their cycle a little bit more and, and start to resume business as normal. Okay, so explain to us how uh, it works. Sure. Uh, the Resendus Index is a little bit of a, of a grandiose name for this, but this is a, a process uh, our firm has developed that basically starts to look at what expectations are built into a company's stock price. And there's kind of two conflicting tensions at work here. There's, there's the, always the emotional cost of investing, and there's the financial cost. And sometimes they tend to conflict pretty heavily. For instance, when the environment, such as unemployment, is low, GDP is growing strong, corporate profits are increasing, the market's going up, it becomes kind of a really nice emotional environment to put your money to work in the marketplace. And that's when you start to hear dentists and waiters and doctors start to give you stock picks when you're going in to do business as usual with them, when you're meeting them at parties. And you know you're, you're in a situation where, while emotionally it's nice to invest, it may not be the most financially advantageous period. And if you go back to March of 2000, for instance, probably a better environment to uh, attract investors, it'd be hard to find. You had all those conditions of ripeness working together. Yet, from the market's perspective, the price you were paying there was very high. And now, when we, Rafael, when we you look back at, and looked. Yes. Yeah, it, it, and now it's interesting because you took the time to go through where we are now. Um, and it was funny because you made the list of, well, the reasons it wouldn't be good to invest, right? Uh, GDP is, is, is getting smaller. Correct. Unemployment is getting higher. Uh, foreclosures, higher. Corporate profits, lower. Credit crisis. And then you said, add your favorite here. I mean, this is pretty much as bad as it gets. Um, but you think that would be the time to get in? Yeah, let's let's do a quick contrast. If you go back to March of 2000 and you valued the industrial firms in the S&P 500 and you basically forecasted out cash flows and brought them back to today in present value terms, these companies would have to grow their sales at about 23 to 25 percent a year on average for all those firms. Now that's a record level of sales growth that was being built into the market price when the best they had done in the previous five to six years was about 15 percent. Today, you can go back and buy that same group of firms, the S&P industrials today, and they're forecasted to grow at negative 2 to 3 percent. Any so names, we end any, up with uh, we're tight on time, any names that give people to think about today? Sure. A uh, couple names that I think are interesting. Coach, which is uh, obviously a huge consumer play, but you look at their ability to grow. They have 300 units here in the U.S. Management feels they can grow to 500. They have great opportunities overseas. You're buying them basically at... 10% a year negative sales growth over the next five years. So if you don't believe a coach will be half its size five years from now, this is a great opportunity to get in. Valero, another interesting stock with oil prices having fallen, gasoline prices holding strong. This is a stock that's poised right. to have some Good. interesting Two names, turnaround. we got to run. We're tight on time. We'll keep an eye on it, though. It's an interesting idea. Rafael Resendez, thank, thank you, you very much.